everybody here. We've been talking about divine encounters, about encounters with the Lord Jesus and how the Bible is just so full of them. And today I'd like to be more specific and talk about um, someone named Moses and this encounter that he had with the Lord Jesus. And I call it a divine disruption. You see, he was busy tending sheep. He'd run away out of Egypt uh, for committing a murder and um, he, he was busy tending sheep in, in the desert and he sees this strange fire burning in this bush. Um, the reason why it caught his attention was because this fire just kept burning. It didn't burn out um, and it, it, it fascinated him and he went closer. And when he went closer, the Lord spoke to him from the bush. And why I know that it was the Lord Jesus is because it's, it talks about the angel of the Lord. And this angel of the Lord was different because he says to him, I am the God of your, uh, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. So there are many such encounters where the Lord Jesus appears uh, as the angel of the Lord, not an angel of the Lord, the angel of the Lord in the Old Testament and there's a commissioning that takes place. Um, I call it a divine disruption, a holy disruption because Moses was just going on with his ordinary life um, uh, in a comfort zone, um, just hiding away from his real identity, his real purpose and he has this supernatural moment and I love it when he comes closer the Lord says to him take off your shoes because the ground you are on is holy and that always makes me think when I think of shoes I think of um, uh, the human hand I think about uh, 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 the carnal hand I think about something that is uh, uh, human reasoning I think of something that separates us from true knowledge of God uh, our human philosophies our human reasoning our human understanding of who God is and when you are in a a holy moment at the, when there is a disruption where God when God disrupts your your average day with an encounter he is going to ask you to let that stuff leave that stuff behind and with that comes a commissioning with that uh, comes a breakout you break out of your comfort zones you will be challenged but you will be amazed and I bet you that uh, Moses was just so happy that he went closer to that bush that day and didn't just ignore it and carried on with his ordinary